I printed this part without using support structure. Here's how I did it. 3D printers need some sort of support surface on which they can place the molten material. You can't start a print in mid-air. So normally you would have to print this part using support material. But that leads to ugly surfaces and wasted material and also it can be a pain to remove. So here comes the trick. This part was not printed in one pass. Instead, it was once two parts. I paused the print at a certain height and inserted the top part I had printed previously. The printer then fuses the parts together and since they are exactly the same material, the result is a bond that is just as strong as if it had, it had been printed directly as one part. In fact, you can insert many parts into a print. Magnets or nuts are practical, but embedding printed parts with zero tolerance results in great finishes in places that would otherwise be impossible to print with that quality. And that is how 